So to continue my exploration of graphics magic in Lucy CFML, I wanted to see if I could allow the user to click on an image and then annotate the image at the location of that click. So if we click here on one of the eyes, you can see I get the annotation. And I click again and I get another annotation. And each one of these is doing a page refresh and sending a new XY coordinate for the image, which we're then using to uh, apply an animation to the base image. Now, if you look at the URL, what you'll see is that I'm using this special Lucy URL notation in which I include an array notation suffix on the query string name. So each of these is points and array notation, points and array notation, and so on and so forth. And what that does is it collects all of these various points as a single array in the URL scope in the Lucy CFML server. And then we'll loop over these points and apply them to the image. So let's take a quick look at how that works. Um, so first, let's just jump down to the JavaScript. So here's the image that we're going to be uh, rendering. And when the user clicks, again, we get the location of that click within the viewport. We then get the uh, viewport location of the image itself. We use that delta to calculate the local coordinates of the click within the image. And then we are appending that point as a uh, coordinate on that image in that points array. So now if we jump up to the top, we can see we have our URL points, which is going to be of type array. So Lucy is going to convert that collection of query string parameters. It's going to, it's going to collapse it down into a single array. And then we're going to loop over the points in this array and apply the annotations to the image. So the first thing that we do on every step is copy a fresh version of our demo image into the local directory. So we always want to start with a base image because if we um, save the image after each annotation, then what happens is each one of these things has to be compressed every time the image gets saved. So essentially, the older the label, the more compression artifacts are going to show up on that label over time. So instead of creating intermediary images, we're always going to start with the base image and then we're going to apply all of the points provided in the URL every time we render the image. So let's look at how this works. So again, all of the graphics magics, graphics magic uh, operations go through the GM binary uh, with the convert uh, option in this case, or the convert utility in this case. Uh, we're going to be reading in a JPEG image, so we're going to explicitly provide the reader for security reasons. Um, and let's initialize our command options for the convert and the input file, which is the one that we just copied to the local directory. Now we're going to loop over the points, and for each point we're going to apply two operations. One is the circle, and then one is the label, the text label here. And both of those are going to be accomplished using the draw option. So first I'm going to get the xy coordinates from the point, and remember that's the uh, string here that I'm passing as a comma delimited list. So list get at 1 is the x, list get at 2 is the y. The radius of the circle here is 19. This just sets up the various draw configurations, fill, stroke, stroke, width. Uh, and here you can see I'm drawing a circle at the xy coordinate, and then it requires another like edge point, which is really just the x plus the additional radius at that point. Now, in order to center the text, we have to do a little bit of manual work. First, I start by bumping the text um, over and down. Uh, and then if the text is more than one digit, so for example, if we go from 9 to 10, the 10 has to start a little bit farther to the left than the 9 did. Uh, so for that, we just have to manually bump it over. I think there are other ways of accomplishing this, like perhaps uh, writing the text annotation as an intermediary image and then compositing the text annotation image with the base image. But uh, I'm going to try that in a subsequent, um, in a subsequent post, I think. Uh, but again, the text is also done via the draw command here, and you can see this uses the text with the xy coordinate of the text and then the value, which in this case is just the array indice of the points in that loop that, uh, that we're currently in. And, uh, and then we just save the image back to the current location. So we read this input file path in, right? We applied all of the annotations, and then we wrote it back to the same file overriding the local file. But again, we're starting with the fresh image each time, applying the annotations, and then writing it back 
to the local uh, the local folder. And there we go. And then to reset, all I have to do is refresh the page but not send any points. Because remember, the first operation that we do of this demo is always copy in a fresh image. So every refresh requires that file copy. And then at this point, I can start to apply, again, new annotations on top of that image. And there you go. Uh, just really enjoying the exploration of graphics magic.